hello guys welcome back to my channel it's so good to have you here again so in today's video i'll be showing you how to make nigerian meat pie now what we have in the bowl is flour sugar salt and baking powder i'll leave the measurements of all the ingredients in the description box below so we'll pour in our butter and then we'll mix and mix and mix properly So fun fact guys, while I was growing up, I really did not like meat pie. The whole thing didn't make sense. Like, I was like, what's this? I just didn't like the way it looked. But fast forward to now, guys, like one of my favorite snacks any day. But there's this store in VI that I always stop by to buy their meat pie because it's always so nice, hot and fresh. Let me know guys in the comment section what you feel about meat pie. Is it a snack you love? What don't you like about let me just let's interact you know now let's just catch up now the next thing we'll be pouring or adding to the mixture is egg actually use three eggs you see the point where i added the third one so after putting the two eggs it didn't give me the texture i wanted so and then to add one more making three eggs so you just mix and pour inside and mix So after mixing the eggs, the next we'll be adding is milk. Now you can use water, but I prefer to use milk. So if you don't want milk, you can use water. It will give you the same result. So after pouring in the milk, we we'll just mix and mix the whole dough together. So we mix the dough and form it into a bowl, clear the surface, clean it properly because at this point we'll be transferring it to the working surface. Sprinkle some flour and then you knead the dough. Now this process will take about 3 minutes. You don't need to overwork the dough, you just knead it properly and gently. Obviously mine is sped up, that's why it looks as if I'm doing it really fast. But it's just gently 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 after kneading you form it into a ball as well and use a clean film to wrap it round and store in the fridge for about um, 30 minutes to an hour Alright, so the next thing to do is to prepare the meat by filling ingredients. And this is garlic, we just chop it into tiny little pieces. And then, yeah, ginger, you already know how I feel about this spice. It has a special place in my heart. <laughs> so we chop that as well into tiny little pieces. You don't want people eating meat by having to bite on it. So just chop all of them into tiny pieces this is onions you can put as much as you want this is just the quantity I would like and the size I would like for it to be in my meat pie so just do you whenever you're cooking that's basically what it is The next ingredient to be chopping is the bell pepper. We just chop that into tiny pieces as well. And you can choose to not put this in your meat pie. It's okay, it's just me. So I just like the, um, the additional flavor it gives. So if you don't want it, it's fine.
Okay, so the next thing we chop is chili pepper, also known as scotch bonnet. Just a little is fine. Just chop it into tiny pieces. And next we have the carrots. Now we start by frying the onions, garlic and ginger. After frying for a few minutes, we'll add up the scotch bonnets and fry. Then we pour in the washed minced meat. This is beef washed. Just pour that in and stir, then allow it to fry up or cook. And this is how it looks after cooking for about 10 minutes. This is I didn't add any water to it. So at this point, we just add our seasoning, stir and then... Next, we'll add up the chopped Irish potatoes. We're also adding the bell peppers and carrots. So after adding the carrots, just stir and add up a little water, about one of our full measuring cup. Cover the pot for about three minutes. After that, added up curry and thyme, stir, and then allow everything to cook for an additional three minutes. Now you need to stir all the ingredients properly, such that any spoon of filling you take has all the ingredients equally distributed. Now our sauce has generated stock, and we don't want it running, so we sprinkle all purpose flour or corn flour, whichever one and mix immediately so we don't have lumps in it you just stir and that sauce is ready now time for the exciting part on our clean surface you sprinkle some flour so it doesn't stick while you're rolling it and then divide the dough into tinier chunks so it can be easy to work with now you need the tiny pieces a bit and then you just place it on the surface use the rolling pin to roll it out Roll it out side by side like in circles so it can be easy to cut out the round shape. After that, you use the plate as a stencil to get the round shape. If you have a meat pie cutter, you can use that as well. That will work perfectly. So we take out the excess and then place in the filling at the middle. Use glaze our egg and then we use the baking brush to glaze the side. Fold it over. And then we use a fork to indent it, more like sealing the side. We place that on our baking. So we'll run the process tray again. Add up the excess removed from the first one. Roll it out, still in circles, such that we can get out the round shape. Use our plates and cut it out. Take out the excess and then place the filling at the middle. Use the baking brush to glaze the side, fold it over and indent it with a fork. Now we have 10 meat pies. I'll just glaze the top of it again with egg and um, place it into the oven. Now you really don't need to poke the meat pie, like some people do that, but I don't think there's any need for it. Whether you poke it or not, it will still bake fine. So we'll just glaze and put that in the oven. Set the oven on medium heat and bake for 45 minutes. Now this is me checking after 30 minutes and it's almost ready but I'll glaze it again with the egg.
now this is the meat pie ready so i'm simply doing this to let you know or to show you that it's properly baked you don't need to do this before baking i'm only doing it so you can see that it's ready now look at the pie just look at it so delicious i so enjoy this meat pie oh my god in fact my friends and colleagues had so many good reviews about this meat pie it was so so nice like we enjoyed it i particularly enjoyed it ah oh, that's it for today guys thank you so much for always supporting me don't forget to like share comment and subscribe